I never felt comfortable calling Jesus the Son of God or Jesus being God as part of the Trinity. Well, why? If God is a omnipotent, omniscient, omnibenevolent being, yes. then why? Surely the fact that He has a Son and we pray through Him, it, it, it makes Him not God by the definition of God. You're, you're speaking like a Muslim. You know, you know what we call that in Islam? We call that the fitra. The fitra means the innate disposition that you was bought with. You know when you have a phone and you change all the settings? Yeah. And sometimes you're like, you know what, erase it and go back to the factory settings. What you said that is a factory setting. It's basically going back to your original uh, being when you was created is what? That's why we believe every person is born a Muslim. You had to be taught that God has a son and God is Jesus. But nobody has to tell you because there was a study done in Oxford University by Justin Barrett. They looked at kids and left them like uh, without any outside influence of religion. They all were brought up um, believing in a higher power. Yeah. None of them came and said, oh, the son of God, the none of that. So this is what we're talking about, which is the fitrah that you have. So in Islam, we say that we don't have this thing of, oh, I'm dirty, I'm a sinner, I can't stand in the presence of God. God says, I accept you. God accepts you the way you are. The only thing God wants is the following. Do not associate partners to him like you, you rejected. You said, no, I believe God doesn't have a son. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, Allahu ahad, Allahu samad, lam yalid wa lam yulad, wa lam yakullahu kufuan ahad. Say he is one, uh, self-sufficient. He does not beget, nor is he begotten, and there is nothing like him. This is who God is to us. We say that anyone can stand in the, in the presence of God. God doesn't want you to be perfect. He knows you're going to be sinners. Prophet Muhammad, he told us that if mankind was not to sin, Allah will destroy all of them, bring forth another nation that sins but repents. God is telling us, I don't want you to be sinless. You are going to sin. Good. I just want you to turn back to me and repent. Yeah. It's so it's a foreign. That's interesting because my dad, like, I, I know with the English people, they have this principle. It's like yeah. if it makes you happy. Yeah. With my dad, it's, I don't care if it makes you happy. My dad was very like. My dad said the thing that I hate the most has been born into my family. I was kicked out of my house, um, and I'm not saying my dad's evil. My dad sees it as foreign, and also he's had some bad experience with Muslims back in our country. At the end of the day, I understand your family members can you know be upset. That's that's totally normal. But let me ask you a simple question: Do you believe God is one? Yeah. Okay. Do you believe that the Quran is from God Almighty? It's the right word of God. Yeah. yeah. Okay, do you believe the Prophet Muhammad is the final messenger? From what I understand, yeah. You're, you're, you are a Muslim. Yeah. But I would personally say to you, take a shahada. Not on camera. Perfect. Yeah.